the general. Hey, what's up, Twitch, YouTube? This is the general. Bringing you guys another six player risk game, world domination. The only man Twitch in risk consistently. The general has over 300 hours of raw risk content on YouTube, over 200 risk wins. You're looking at the man, the legend, the general, with the biggest risk library on YouTube facts no cap. So we got a little bit of a community game tonight. The general to act first here. Let's go South America. Looks like South America is, is going to be our home here, I would say. So let's end the turn here. We got a community game going on here. We have Blue Player as Jonathan Mall, as Barry Dingle Game in the chat. Also twitching Risk at this very moment. Barry Dingle Gaming. Make sure to give this man a follow. Also, also twitching Risk, like I said, right at this moment. So give this man some support. Let's build the Risk community together, guys. Barry Dingle Gaming. Give some the man some support and follow. Follows. The man has organically got to affiliate within a month. That's an incredible feat. Give him some support. Give him some love, guys. We got the general rocking red, as usual. We got Fierce Ghost 30 as purple, aka Mr. Salty in the chat, aka Sus Daddy. We got Sin the Dark as yellow player, as Sin the Dark in the chat, Grandmaster, an absolute beast. We got Ara. Ara long hair, 28, as orange player, who is afro in the chat, also a legend to the stream, OG legend. Been support, been supporting the stream for a long time. Pure OG. And we got green player, as someone new to the stream, fast bat bastard, as big booty behemoth in the chat. So now that we got the intros done, let's focus on the game here. We got a nice, solid community game here. I don't play on progressive or blitz usually. I think I'm going to get outplayed. So Barry Dingling, Barry Dingling, <laughs> Barry Dingle. Um, don't help anyone out on this one. Just got it to work. What the hell? Oh, well, have fun, guys. I cheer from the sidelines. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. You just got it working, huh? Afro saying the man, the myth, the general. Ara Araga is awesome. Not gonna lie, Sin says. Yeah. Sorry, it's already on my turn again. I, I guess I got drawn South America here. I should be pretty happy about this. basically have South America here super early we're gonna play it safe though I'm not gonna take it just this turn I'm not gonna get too greedy yeah OG let him know general afro says you got you know it man you know it just already making excuses for losing <laughs> Dingling, <laughs> definitely gonna use that in my stream. Yeah, the thing is what you need to know Barry Dingle about um, That's so funny that slip up by the way. That's hilarious The only thing you got to do a balance blitz it favors the attack die a lot more So you probably want to attack and go for people's eliminations when it comes down to it So progressive the difference between progressive is it prog the trade-ins progressively go up so Trade in for 4, 6, 8, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and so on. So it progressively goes up. So what, what progressive is all about? It's all about eliminating people for stars so you can trade in again and then eliminating the next opponent for, star, for cards sorry, and trading in again. 
So it's more about, it's all about eliminating opponents for cards. Because when the trade-ins are at 40, 45, usually you eliminate a player. Say they have three cards and you have two. Then you eliminate a player, you get five cards, you trade in again for 45. Most likely you can eliminate the next player who hopefully has three or more cards. Then you can trade in again, eliminate the next player until you have the world. So it's an aggressive takeout. And plus it's balanced blitz. It gives the... the the attack die has more of an advantage than true random. So you basically, when you have the opportunity to eliminate someone for an auto trade in, once you eliminate them, then go for it, 100% go for it. You know, that's kind of the meta here. I play them just not enough to foresee the future issues or opportunities, I feel like, but I do appreciate the explanation and your view on it. Yeah, just so you get an idea, it's all about those eliminations. All right, look at. Look at Afro here with a nice Europe presence here. Salty taking Australia here early on. But um, that's the idea. It's all about eliminating players for cards. Once it gets to like 15, 20, 25, like you really start to see uh, players eliminating other players and whatnot. <laughs> Sin the Dark says, what you want to do is suicide in the player that is the highest troop number, except if it's me, of course. <laughs> Yo, you're good, man. Don't even sweat that afro. I'm... No worries, man. No worries. So I guess we'll do something like this. I think I should go for it. And what I should do is blue is probably going to take North America. So I'm going to respect by taking my troops out. And maybe blue most likely, or Barry Dingle Gaming most likely won't hit me here. They might though. See, it's not even a bad play by Barry, Barry Dingle to maybe hit my six and then bring in a five. It's a huge risk though. I don't think I would do it. But I mean, it's not even a bad, it's not a bad aggressive risk play because you could bring in the five and then bring in the five the next turn. I mean, it is what it is. It could be, it could be bad for me, to be honest. That's kind of, kind of why I wanted to be a little bit safer and take South America slowly just to build up my troops. It also could be bad news though, because if Barry Dingle uses all their troops on me in South America and they can't quite take it, then really they have just this one four and one over here, you know, and they're in trouble. Yo, what's up, Diego? What's going on? Sorry for not entering before but i had a lot of uh homework oh no you're good that yo diego you're good bro don't even sweat that man yo what's up what are you saying diego how you doing bro green if you want africa let my six through the middle east he says My six through the <laughs> sin is conspiring. <laughs> I always am. Wow, it doesn't doesn't deny it. No, I mean that's it's kind of fine because it's we're on chat and it's not ranked and we're just kind of having fun. But and it's a fair enough deal. I guess you get your six out. Wow, well played. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that makes sense though. Like, usually you might do that automatically considering Sin's positioning. They kind of just want to chill out in Africa. Diego says, I just finished the math homework. I don't understand anything. 
<laughs> Afro says, hey, no communicating in chat. That's cheating. 200 IQ play right there, gents. Give them the gate. Give them the gate. Really like how I have this force out in Asia here. I'm definitely gonna move this two out as well. I'm gonna just get all my forces out of North America. Like it's weird because it's kind of like a political move because I know Barry Dingle Gaming is probably gonna go for North America at some point. Although they did stack up 10 on me so I could be in for bad news here, but they did trade in, so that might not be too bad for me. What kind of math homework did you have, uh, Diego? Like, what specific type of math? Barry Dingle Gaming says, Afro, this is risk. Anything can go down. I don't know where Afro Sin says, I don't know what you're talking about, Afro. What communication? Barry Dingle Gaming doesn't know what he's going to do, so you should be even more worried. Uh oh. That does make that does worry me a little bit, uh, Barry Dingle. I'm not gonna lie, that does worry me a bit here. Considering that ten got stacked there. But also Yell uh, Sin's got that nine up in the mix. I did open the gate, like, I moved those twos out, so... Technically, Sin could move those out into Asia. Nice, Fat Bastard with the uh, stack em up on Egypt strat, which is kind of a good strat in progressive, to be honest. Um... Yeah, usually, usually I say, "Ooh, oh, got me worried there a bit." Yeah, got me worried. Where's the few? I should uh, throw down the thanks emote for not hitting me there. Oh, there should be like a few, like emote or something. Like you just like taking the sweat off your head. Got me sweating there a little bit. Got me sweating there just a little bit, you know. Thought Barry Dingle was coming down. That's good. I like the sweat. See, I always like doing plays like that. Just make a player sweat a little, you know? Make them just sweat a little bit. Yo, psychological warfare. It's good though, man. Yeah. Salty says, I'm just minding my business. Don't tease me like that. And Sin says, yeah, that's hilarious. That was some good psychological warfare. I didn't know if you were coming in or not. I'm like, this could be it. It did It did get me worried, I'm not. To be honest, I clicked it by accident. Yo, that's hilarious, actually. Yeah. Aid, could, uh, Aid, could the general get a, a, a top up on the glass? And uh, maybe grab the general another beer here as well. And also top of the water glass here. Thank you, Aid. Can I give you anything else, General? Oh, that'll be all. Thank you, Aid. Sin, are you doing what you think you're doing? That poor person. What's going on here? I think, did Sin want to get them out here? I'm not too sure. It did seem like Sin wanted to release or get their, their 10 out of North America. Dealing with such narcissism, <laughs> Barry Dingle Gaming says. Bio says, love aid. Wow, well, with the heart, heart, heart. I know, aid, aid is the best. I don't know what is real anymore. Hmm, I'm nice. Yo, Orange, where the hell did that come from? What did Orange do there? Thank, thank you, Aid. I appreciate it. Thank you.
Alrighty, let's get some water back here. Oh. Alright. I guess I'm just stacking them on up. Kibik, I have Siberia. Why wouldn't I just do that then? So, everyone's going to get some big boy trade ins coming in here. So, I'm just going to defend for now. I'm just gonna sit them all on Siberia here. Everyone's got, I think, Salty's trading in for 10, then Sin for 15, and then Fat Bastard for 20, damn. Damn, These, this is where it's gonna get insane, guys. It's The trade-ins get big, fast with six players. If you're doing what I think you're doing, you're insane. What are you talking about? Calm your booty. <laughs> Calm your old booty. So Sin with the 15 trade in here. And Fat Bastard. As green players. Got the <clears throat> gets a trade in for the big 20. Big 20 bomb. That's got me a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. It's got me just a little worried. Just a little worried. Just a little. Uh-oh. what I'm talking about. Sin is in a really good positioning here to... See, Sin is in an... Sin's playing this really well. Like, look at Sin's positioning for elimination. Purple's elimination, blue's elimination... Orange's elimination. My hat's off to Sin here. I know Sin's a good player, and he Sin is low key like got people like Sin is playing this smart man. I, I I know Sin just such good positioning. Like to be if to be anywhere in the world, like Sin's positioning, even though, even though they don't have a continent, is is the perfect positioning you want to see. So you want to line yourself up to mess up a lot of players here. So, so Barry Dingle Gaming. Yeah. I'm in survival, bro. Do you see a yellow continent somewhere? Yeah, no. I like it. He's survival. I, you're also in survival mode. You're right. I just like how you got everything kind of lined up all nicely here. There's my card.
It's bl oh, it's Blitz, so he's smart to stack two. Yeah, yeah, like tack, stack two um, territories here, yeah. Salty says, while well, I'm leaving free ones, as nobody's taken. We're also thinking that if we take those free ones, <clears throat> we're also thinking that if we take those free ones, you might we might free up free up your thirty one. So fat bastard going for Afro's elimination here to pick up four, and another insta trade in. Who is next on the chopping block? Think they're gonna go for Salty's elimination here. It's a bit of a risk. 26 on 31. Bounty got the blitz though, Dia. Oh, what? No. No way. No way, dude. No way, dude. No way. No way. That was such bad RNG. Wow, what crazy RNG there. That was actually insane. Well, I mean... I might as well take out green for five. And then take out salty. Because I have a trade-in, so I might as well trade-in. Take out green, take out salty. Um, I think this is game here, guys, honestly. Just too much of a ridiculous situation for me. have to do it for five that's a this is a single trade-in <clears throat> right and then I take out sin yeah it's I just wiped the world. Too many trade-ins. Everyone has too many cards. That's what happens. Sometimes if you if you mess up that trade in it's it's game, right? It's that's the problem. The trade-ins just become too huge at this point, right? Well, yes, 170. 
Everyone had so many stacked cards that it's just like... So many stacked cards. And once Green... Once Fat Bastard couldn't get Salty's elimination, I knew it was basically... Game. This is progressive for you. Like I said, it's all about eliminating opponents, right? Everyone had three to four cards, and once that, once it gets into that 30 trade-in mark, like even 15 to 20, 25, 30 trade-in mark, you basically just polish up the, the world like that, right? That's progressive. It, it, it's quick. Progressive is crazy, yeah. Progressive is basically crazy. It's a lot of RNG. It's a lot of craziness. Um, but you get quick games out of it. I said, oh, Bio says, hey, General, are you, when are you going to realize, though, to realize those reactions in the arms off? That's progressive for you, yet. Yeah. I knew I should have traded in. Fuck. Yeah, that's the thing about progressive, Salty. You got to trade in if you can, almost. Have you seen the view count on your reaction? Uh, I haven't seen it in quite a few days. What's it at? I know it was at a few hundred views. Good luck holding North America, LOL. Oh, yeah, GG Gents, yeah. No problem. That was really greedy of Green to just take the cards from Orange and wait. I thought he they could take out Salty there. Yeah. Yeah. GG, guys. Change my stream title accordingly. All right, guys, on YouTube, please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, make sure you guys tune in next time when the general takes over the world.